tonight. One lawmaker says Wisconsin should no longer be the only state in the nation to not have criminal penalties for first time drunk driving arrests. News 3 Jessica Arp has the latest from the state capitol. The bill would say first time drunk drivers would face up to 30 days in jail and a $500 fine penalties that families of drunk driving victims say is long overdue. We miss him every day. We burn a white candle for him every night. Sue and Fritz Dome look at the picture of their son, Davey, every morning since April 15th, 2011. This is where Davey drew his last breath. Davey was killed in a car crash as a passenger, a first time drunk driver convicted of speeding 90 down Lacey Road, crashing into a tree and killing Davey instantly. Ignorance is bliss, and I was blissfully ignorant before all this. Sue says they got an education in the court system, making them realize that Wisconsin is the only state where if drivers are caught for drunk driving the first time, it isn't a crime. I think it should be a crime because, um, and, if, and I think it also, they should be required to appear in court. State Representative Therese Berceau aims to do just that with a new bill that would change first-time OWIs from a civil fine to a misdemeanor demeanor, something that's never previously had traction in the legislature. Let's quit calling it a mistake and let's get serious about the fact that a lot of people die who are innocent victims. Dome says losing those lives causes a ripple effect. I think of Davy when I get up. I think of Davy when I'm trying to go to sleep. I wake up three, four times during the night. We, we haven't had a sound night's sleep since we lost Davy. It's, it's, it's just knowing that we'll never ever see him again, we'll never ever hear him again, we'll never have him with us again, that just tears at me and it was, like the judge said, this was 100% preventable. This didn't have to happen. Again, that was Jessica Arp reporting there.